Hawaii. You support Enjoy World. You support the tribe. The Wada. Slowly but for sure, brick by brick, we are building for Joy World. Ahab Dylan Davis. Ahab to the Tosh family. Ahab Brendan Savella. Ahab David A. What it do? Ahab Aqua Thai Battle. Ahab Tracy Slocum. Ahab Jasmine Fletcher. Ahab to the Anonymous Cons, man. Ahab Jerkery Strickland. Ahab Brandon Savella. Ahab David A. Ahab Daenerys. Chief Stand Still. Israel. Ahab Maurice Rootley. Ahab David Abreu. Ahab Sonia Baker. You see the repeat contributors. Ahab Mikael. Contessa Taylor. You know what it do. Zion Train. Zion Marley. You know what it do, man. Keep support for Joy World. Help us get to our $20,000 goal. You know, we <laughs> can't wait, man, to begin the painting process. Blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. And, I mean, for us, it's going to be the most gratifying experience, you know, to be able to do that. And, you know, all my Nagas that's contributing, man, all these Nagas you see contributing, we're going to make sure your name it's engraved on the pickets of the fence, man. <laughs> and you're going to have a piece of joy world always. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're always going to have a piece, man. You see what it is, all my nuggets. So we say we got 500 code keeper families, but in the real, you know, we you know we got 5,000 code keepers, 50,000 code keepers, man. Keep supporting my nuggets. Chauncey Brown, Aretha Wright, Sinead Gleason, Ahab, Casey Reed, Chauncey Brown, all my anonymous Nagas, Ahab, Mahogany Love, Eric Mays, what it do, man? You see it, man. You see it, man. CJ Battle, you see it, man. Big Fred Edison, what it do? Nappy Go for him, Clavon Hot, Hunt, Broderick Richmond, Jerkery Strickland, Brian Wilson, Crystal Anderson. We got way more than 500 co keeping Nagas. So we know that with a little bit at a time, with consistent effort from the consistent cons and the consistent contributors reaching 20,000, you know, for materials and to support the Nagas that are building the fence, you know, as they're building with, you know, healthy food, <laughs> you know, safe options to you know, rest their head and rest their, rest their minds, rest their bodies, man, from all that work, man. So, you know, we're doing all that we can to make it comfortable for my Nagas to make these fence building trips, man. So Taj family, Dylan Davis, we appreciate you. And all my Nagas, we appreciate you for Naga feel. My man, Dylan Davis said, thanks for all the edification and work you've put in for the nation. It's inspirational to see brethren that look like me work on their own land. Managa, it's inspirational to be on your own land. And shout out to Managa veteran I, because <laughs> my bro, you are inspirating I, me. You know what I'm saying? You are inspiring me. <laughs> I made up a word, inspirating, man. <laughs> For my bro, veteran I, you are inspirating all these Nagas. <laughs> In Nagaville, we talk a little different around here, man. Shout out Dylan Davis, man. He said, all praises to the Most High. Hawaii. And thanks to Wisdom, Ama, for guiding us and our studies and protecting us on our paths. Hey, Aha, hey, my bro, Dylan Davis. And hey, hi, my aqua, Jasmine Fletcher. Halawa, I love what you are doing. And all our people should be doing this. They will never be able to stop this water. We are in our land, India Superior. Oh, now that's a wave surfer. Shout out my aqua Jasmine Fletcher. 
Daenerys, Chief, stand still, Israel. Bless up, fam. Keep grinding and growing. All praise to the creator of the spirits of all flesh. My bro Daenerys got the drive, man. And all y'all got the drive, man. All my nagas got the drive for Joy World. Hey, man, shout out to <laughs> Copper Land, man. Dragon Heights, man, what did it do? <laughs> bro Veteran Eye popping off in North Carolina. Oh, man, hey. Lady Roos, man, what it do, man? You know what I'm saying? Hey, the uh, Roos land is popping off. You know, blue, purple, red is popping off, man, no matter where we at. Naga Hill. Nappy Goat Farm. I mean, these are Nagas that got land that are raising that Nagaville flag. Letting them know that we cold keepers. And it feels so good, don't you agree, so? We come a long way, hey, hop, club, hey, and you know the fence building team that's still right now, right now in the mix out there grinding, man, waking up early and get getting the cement popping, <laughs> getting the solars going. I mean, while we working on the fence, we are doing, you know, we are working on the next project too. We're not just waiting, you know. We're getting the solar already going. You know, what I'm saying we're you know raising the funds within us. You know, what I'm saying to get more sheds going on and all that and. You know, this feels so good to see Nagas building the land, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, a hot peculiar joy for the inspiration, man, to make sure we, you know, pull the trigger on on this plot right here. You know what I mean? Aqua, you know, we appreciate you and all praise so while that we're all in position to make this happen, man. Chef Condi, you know, my Yapa wife, you know, always supporting the Nagas vision and dream, man. You know, I appreciate all y'all for supporting Naga's vision and dream, man. For Nagaville, man, we come a long way. So, hey, if it's a little at a time, if it's 50 at a time, if it's 10, if it's 20, if it's 100, 200, 500, my Naga, we know we got Naga's in position, when you in position, and that, you know, drop is going right to our materials, it's going right to the fence building team, and, you know what I'm saying? AI to the foreman of, of, of Joy World, my Naga Claude Bay out there popping off. So Claude Bay really appreciates it, man, to get what he needs to get on a daily basis and keep it going. So, hey, you know, this is the transfer of energy, it's currency, and it's AI for Naga Fuel, <laughs> for Joy World. You already know, man. Wall of protection, blue, purple, red, white linen go thread. And keep it coming because we know the paint to paint each of these pickets <laughs> on an entire acre of land, you ain't already know. So, you know, all this is going towards that gold, man. Blue, purple, red. The Wada, white, let it go thread. Exodus 26 and Exodus 20 got us in gold. A high to our 500 cold keepers for your Baru. Hawa, da Wada. We just popping off. Hey, hop to Alex Dave. Hey, hey, he's live in 432 right now, man. Begging that hang drum, man. Hey, we just digging on it in real time. My nugget. I said, I said, my nugget. Yeah, let's get this uh right off the site. Let's get back in the drop, drop, chatter, chat to chat, chatter. Yeah. When you in the drop chatter box, password is one, two, three, four to get through the door. Come hijack free and surf the way with me and the family. As promised after Shabbat. <laughs> I know we pushed it back a few weeks, man, and I appreciate it again. Fourth wave lasted a year and a half, man. You know, normally a season might be, you know, maybe nine months at the max, but this one was like a year and a half. So it was like two seasons in one. So we took a a nice Zion, Zion, and we're ready to pop off, man. And I just dropped a new schedule in the drop chat. So if you go to 432thedrop.com, you click on drop chat, my naga. You know, you go over here, click on drop chat, put in the password. It's still 1234. It's been 1234 since the beginning, <laughs> but it will start changing, you know, in the fifth wave. So make sure... You registered on the site. Make sure we got your email so you can get all the new passwords as they go. But, you know, get get cozy. It's all good. We, we've been letting you get cozy for years. 
I want to go over the fifth wave schedule and make a great dismount with some great drop by Yosef, the real. Yosef's been on fire with that map dropping so much, man. So we got to keep surfing away with Yosef right now, man. Let's go. All right, my now y'all ready, man. Yeah, y'all ready, man. So I'm just going to pop off right around that 6 o'clock hour. You know, you can get the drop. You can read it. You know what we got? We got the jazz flowing. We got tribal music flowing. We got the drop stream, which is, you know, pretty much our mix, our playlist. You know, and they always uh, rotate. You got the the replays of the Shibata flow and the TDR flows. So all this is happening in real time. You know, all the shows are replaying in case you miss them. And they will be dropping on the website at 432thedrop.com. In case you miss them, you can go dig on it. And then we'll start doing the uh, the uh, ether packs that you can get the full show and have the full audio and all that, man. So, you know, support the ether packs and support the tribe and become a drop sponsor, man. If you're not a sponsor right now, if you're not a sponsor, man, please become a, dra- a dragon on the wall, man. And our dragons on the wall are everything to us. At 432, um, that goes to the entire Eat the Squad, 432 Drop Nation family. All my nuggets dropping just incredible uh, shows every day. You know, we share the sponsorship. So if you become a Copper Dragon or a Silver Dragon or a Gold, all Ahab. And, you know, uh, we know <laughs> what it takes, you know what I'm saying, to put something together and Support it, man, and just know that you're supporting. <laughs> you're supporting the battles, man. You support so many families, man. RKJ, you're supporting the tribe, man. AKB, what it do, man? All the tribe, man. So I see CJ popping off. So become a sponsor at 432 to Tribe Radio and support the Ether Squad. So let's go. Starting at 6 o'clock. This starts on Sunday here, man. We'll start on Sunday, first day of the week. Let's go. Coming in hot at 6 o'clock. Tribe of Music, man, of course, man. So we're going to have a great eclectic playlist of uh, music from the tribe that's going to continue to vibe and pop off and rotate. And we got so many great artists, drop artists, drop producers that's going to be bringing you the hotness, man. So shout out to, you know, tribal mafia first of all man you know that's you know our flow you know what i'm saying but everybody man that's gonna be featured and we enjoy featuring artists we enjoy featuring producers we enjoy featuring you so tap in tap in check in check in and make sure we got your drop if you're a producer if you're an artist you know what i'm saying don't 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 stop until we you know hear your music man you know what i'm saying don't just drop it one time Keep dropping so we can keep hearing your flow, your progression, you know what I'm saying? Your journey as an artist, as a producer, you can always email me, music at 432thedrop.com, and let's pop off. So we got that 6 o'clock tribe up music hour, 7 o'clock drop finance hour where, you know, hey, we're all in this system. We might as well learn how to play it and, you know, how to structure our finances so that we can pop off and do things like buy more land and support each other, support our land, you know what I mean? So we're going to do a drop finance hour, talk about different things, man, from, you know, the stock market, you know, you know, we'll even, you know, discuss some of the crypto flow, you know what I mean? Even though, you know, I don't personally flow with the crypto personally. (laughs) I always tell people like, nah, man, you know, Nah, man. <laughs> but I know that, you know, I don't want to uh, ignore the babies in the bathwater. Maybe you can come up. Yeah. So maybe we can get some advice from someone, you know what I mean, that is beneficial to you, or at least you can have knowledge, you know, just because we don't deal with it don't mean we ain't knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? We don't rock with the energy of the New Testament, but we're knowledgeable of the babies that are in the bathwater, the reflections and the duplications. You dig? So we got to be not knowledgeable on crypto. We even got to be knowledgeable on their uh, whole meta flow. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they, you know, are doing anyway, the, uh, um, you know, artificial intelligence and the robots and, 
you ain't got to be down with them, but you need to at least have an understanding, you know what I mean, of what's happening. So, you know, this is a good step forward, man. Drop finance hour. We got an eight o'clock paleo Hebrew hour. going to feature different teachers and educators, you know, uh, chew the meat, spit the bones, you know what I'm saying? Um, the veggie tacos <laughs> and, uh, you know, learn some paleo Hebrew, man. We're going to do our best to, you know, keep finding some drop for you. Survival drop one-on-one coming in hot at nine o'clock, man. Sunday, Sunday night. This is all uh, West coast Pacific, you know, Pacific time. Coronado expeditions, man. Love to chef candy who did a great drop on that. You know, I'm going to pick it up, man. Cause you know, she inspired me. So that's 10 o'clock. And then we in the drop artist hour featuring the dopest artists, man. You know what I'm saying? And a hop to all of our, our music supervisors, man. They just bring us great music. So we're going to feature that great music, 11 o'clock. And just let it ride all the way up, man, to more replays and flows. Six o'clock on Monday, let's go. We got a farming and building hour, man. So we're going to talk farming and we're going to talk building, man. How to build things, how to farm, how to, you know, how to plant. Different things is all going to be in the farming and building hour. Hey, my jigger, what it do? The bro's popping out so much great music. Hey, I, my bro, Five Eyes, thinking out loud is back. Fifth wave, he been ready, man. Let's go, my, <laughs> my been ready. Seven o'clock hour, brand new time, brand new slot. A lot of these are new slots, so pay attention. Come in the drop chatterbox and get the drop. Tokev Banak is following, thinking out loud. On Mondays now, 8 o'clock Pacific. Then we got the American Holocaust at 9 by Con Drop. And then we got the Presta Hour at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so we up, man. Mondays is all the way up. Drop Producer Hour. My favorite producers. Everybody, man, is dropping that drop. All the beats. We're going to feature them 11 o'clock Pacific on Monday. Let's go. Let's go, man. 6 o'clock. Tuesday, we come in in hot again with the Drop Artist Hour. If you didn't get it at 11 o'clock, you can get it early on Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Copper Color Creation, Aqua, let's go. Copper Land, we all the way up. Aqua's popping off with some rainbow dragons, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned to the Copper Color Creation at 7 o'clock Pacific. Natural by Law is coming in hot. Brand new slot, The Naturalist, 8 o'clock Pacific. Uh, I'm coming in high with some Forbidden Histories, man. I keep saying I'm going to read <laughs> this Forbidden History book by Daniel Lowe, cover to cover. So let's go, man. It's one of my favorite books. I can't put it down. Uh, just like American Holocaust, you know, and I might go back with the David Standard or, you know, freak it with something else, man. We'll see. Forbidden Histories at 9 on Tuesday. Kalelu. I say it with me. A Kalelu. 10 o'clock Tuesday. Then we back in the drop stream because the stream is clean and the stream is me. Let go, Templar. We out of here, man. <laughs> Six o'clock on a Wednesday. We got the drop producers hour again. If you didn't get it on uh, Monday at 11, you can get it on Wednesday at 6. Then we in battle time with Ty Bad Sign. Fifth way we popping off. I know Ty Bad already. We out of here, man. In battle time. Let's go. Seven o'clock on Wednesday, brand new slot. Tuesday, or excuse me, Templar Urban Reed <laughs> coming in high on the Wednesday, 8 o'clock Pacific. So Templar at 8. We got Judah the Great Jedi at 9. We got Flat Drop 101 at 10. And Draconology 101 at 11. And make sure you tune in there, man. The Templar is ready to pop off. You know, already know he's in the zone. He's in the flow. He's in the press to flow. He's in the, the alchemy flow. <laughs> He's in the fundamental, the platonic solid flow. Judah, the great Jedi. You already know we're going to get some techniques on how to defend ourselves at all costs, man. From my big bro, Judah, the great Jedi. And Ty Bazan, I don't even know what book she's going to read, but she's popping off. Let's go, man. That's the Wednesday flow. Thursday, 6 o'clock. We got Zan Jazz 432. Yeah, we got a Zon Jazz Hour popping off. I love jazz. I'm a son of a jazz musician. Got to represent the jazz flow. Put it in the frequency of water, 432. And then we got 7 o'clock, brand new, man, Conclave. 
he's going to be talking about some herbs and some healing and healing and, and reeling. <laughs> he's going to give us some great recipes on, you know, how to not only detox, but just, you know, stay with some great superfoods, man. He's also my boxing coach. So he might give us some good techniques as well. And again, this is the four man of joy world. So he's always out there putting the poles, solar, whatever he's doing. He's popping off, man. Conclave. AI hey, man, welcome man to the Ether Squad. Seven o'clock on Thursday, eight o'clock, man, brother nature, man. Hey man, it's happening, man. Living well, we need it. We uh, you know, always look forward to you know living well with my bro, brother nature, and he's really been a big brother to all of us. So we look forward to having brother nature in the fifth wave, followed by Chef Condi. She got the recipes ready. Always got something dope for you to learn to impress somebody and stay healthy, man. Chef Condi, Zion cooking, popping off. And CJ Battle is ethered up, man. Hey, hop CJ Battle. Uh, I mean, definitely one of my very, very favorite artists and producers because he does both. And he's involved with so many things, man, from visuals to, you know, just the journey, the crystals, the flow. A great family knocking, man. So, A Hop OXB Aqua Sand, we out of here, man. Ether up with the Ether Sessions. CJ Battle on Thursday, 10 o'clock. And we back with Turf Thurs Live, man. This is a show dedicated for the artists and producers where I get to feature it live in the Ether, do some interviews, and have some fun with the artists, man. And, this is what we do it for, man. We in 432 hertz. So by the time they try to figure us out, we're in another frequency. We in another frequency, man. So, you know, AI, all my artists and producers doing it, you know, in the frequency of water, man. And just for the fifth wave, let's go. Oh, yeah, man. So Friday, 6 o'clock, we in the Zon Meditation. And in that Zon Meditation, we might get the uh, hang drums. We might get flutes. We might have that water flowing. Might just have that water. We might got, you know what I'm saying, some type of smooth jazz. I, we, we can get real jazzy. You know what I mean? Maybe we'll get uh some harp music, man. So Zion Meditation is always going up, getting you ready for the Shabbat flow at 6 o'clock, man. And then we got Thai Battle Poetry. Definitely a crowd favorite right here. <laughs> at 432, the drop radio aqua has the... Most, um, oh man, I mean, most tribal pen, you know what I mean? Most, most tribal poetic pen of all time. Aqua time as uh, seven o'clock Pacific, nine spiral. Let's go, man. We back with the uh, forbidden scriptures, man. Nine spiral is going to connect us precept to precept, you know, connect our flow like a con would, like a con should. Hey, how to bro, nine spiral. 8 o'clock Pacific time on Friday, followed by Torah-only sessions, followed by Tanakh-only sessions, into that tribe of music for the Shabbat so you can flow to, be tribed up, and just enjoy the frequency. And then we coming in high with Saturday, 6 o'clock. We on the Shabbat, so we back in the Shabbat of replays, back in the tribe of music. Ma Jigga got us popping off with the soul Glow super heavyweight SHW, and this is just a beautiful playlist, man. An eclectic flow, <laughs> a very dynamic flow of music and selections from producers and artists. You don't want to miss it, man. Every Saturday, new slot, seven o'clock Pacific time. That's 10 o'clock Eastern, nine o'clock Central. And then we're going to follow that into the drop stream, man. We popping off on our Shabbat. We, we want great music, great frequency, great flow all night long, 8 o'clock all the way to 10 o'clock Pacific. And then 11 o'clock, we're coming in high with the Shabbat show. Fifth wave, man. So I can't tell you how excited I am to pop it off with you. We've been waiting. Y'all been patient. And, uh, we just wanted to get it right, man. We don't want to rush it. You don't got to rush it when you got the real thing. And all my nog has been super patient. So, you know, all my ether squad, I think that's about 12 of us, 13 of us. And, you know, we're all here for you. You know what I'm saying? We're here to pop off and make sure you download our app for free. 432 The Drop Radio. 432 The Drop Radio. Download it for free. 
and surfed away with the ether squad. Fifth wave, we taking the wheel, man. And it's so real, man. And, uh, you know, get the drop in the drop, drop, chatter, chat, 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 chatter. Please become a Dragon sponsor, man. Dragon's on the wall right here at 432thedrop.com by clicking on Dragon Sponsors, man. And that's how we really, man. How, how y'all really? You know, y'all let us know what shows you're really lo looking up to, man. Leave a comment, you know, just looking forward to and you know, let us know, you know what I'm saying, just that you're here, you know what I mean, ready to, you know, be up in the chat room while the shows are playing, you know, ready to discuss some great topics, man, ready to get some techniques, some training, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you're getting everything, <laughs> my naga, you're getting everything, you're getting farming, you're getting building, you're getting Tokev Banak, which means you're getting the most realest perspective from yourself, the real. <laughs> you're getting my jig of thinking out loud, which means you're getting the dope producers, the artists, you're getting interviews, you're getting, I mean, the, the Naga's perspective at all time, man. You're getting the press to hour, you're getting Coronado, Survival Drop, Paleo Hebrew, Drop Finance, Tribe Up Music, man. You got drop artists, you got drop producers, Cop Color Creation popping off, Natural by Law, it's going to be dipping in that ether bus, picking a naga up, <laughs> getting all so real, all so deep, <laughs> forbidden histories, man. I mean, we got, man, look, it's all happening. We in battle time. Templar up is happening. He's over there covering every angle, man, that you never even thought of. Judah got us striking and, and doing elbows and breathing and doing the key exercises. The chi, we got flat drop track analogies. CJ, the session, we living well. We got recipes with Chef Candy, Conclave with some more dietary flow and some jabs and hooks. <laughs> we got jazz and meditation, man, poetry. What do you want, man? What else do y'all want, man? Nine Spiral, you know, taking us there, man, into the calm flow. We got Torah and Tanakh only sessions drop streams, soul glows, and Shabbat shows, man. <laughs> Come over here to the drop chatter box and get the real drop, man. Yourself the real's over here popping off, man. For the dismount. <laughs> hey, for the dismount. I got to I gotta translate. I got to translate this, man. This is amazing. From the discovery of Kapongo to Japanism? <sighs> to, under, to understand this, you got to be in the drop chatter, man. <laughs> you got to be surfing a wave on the IG. Shout out to all my Nagas on IG, surfing a wave. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we out of here, man. Yosef hit us with some map drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it right here on the IG. You know, we, we've been popping off so much. <laughs> we got to go. We got to go in the crates a little bit. Wow. Hey. Look how Yapa Joy World looks, man. In the top of the soul. Look how beautiful level that fence is. My nog has been supporting it. And we've been doing it. All praise the wild. Here we go. Yeah, to, to understand this uh, Cuba flow. You see Kapangu right here, right? Which some call Japan. And then these later maps, they don't even have it, but it's supposed to be, you know, left of this, uh, you know, Florida Barbados flow. Tucked up right here. Right near the Gulf of Mexico and all that. 
Annie on Covera, Cibola, Cathay, China, Kapongu, Japan, all in America. Oh my. Yosef got the map drop. Hit him up. Yosef underscore duh underscore real on IG. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, we still popping off for Joy World. <laughs> got the solar happening. Okay, okay. Get in the drop. So 2018 is an important cultural year for lovers of Japanese culture in the middle of the Japanism 2010 event called Souls and Renaissance. This year, we celebrate 160 years of diplomatic relations between France and Japan, as well as 150th anniversary of the beginning of the May. G Magi or Magi, era 1868 to 1912. Historical period opening of the country to the West, putting an end to the Tokugawa Shogunate. So this is it. This is a historical period opening of the country to the West, right? Just keep in mind, putting an end to the Tokugawa Shane, Shogane and its isolationist policy of, of Sako, Sakoku. Journey du Japan wanted to dedicate an article to what Japanism is since the mythical Kapangu of Marco Polo's travelogues. Jap Japan has always fascinated Westerners. Now, when they say Westerners, they're really talking about Europeans that are claiming to be Westerners now because they found America. <laughs> Got it. So Japan is fascinating to the Europeans. And it's mainly fascinating to the Europeans because, you know, Japan is <laughs> right here near Florida. So what Japan is that over there? What China is that over there? If China is in North America in the 1500s, this is a map of America. And the way to China has men believed it to be, which an old pilot, all right? So he showed this to King Henry the Seventh in the year 1500. This was the map he showed King Henry. All right. So Japan fascinated Westerners is saying that Kapangu, which is connected to gold and cities of gold because it's in America, it's not in Japan that you know today. So when they talk about ancient Japanese history, they're still talking American history. When they talk ancient Chinese history, they're still talking about Cathay in America and India Superior and how much substance must have much of it must have been taking a place in America. How much substance must must have been taking place in India superior <laughs> that they uh have duplicated and reflected all of your true to life history into some type of melting pot of reflections and duplications, man. European history, Chinese history, Hindu history, Japanese history, Asian history. 90% of the time is going to connect right back to India Superior, man. Because this is a fire drag. <laughs> Let's go. So Japan has always fascinated Westerners who look back at the discovery of the archipelago by the Nanbans, the barbarians of the South, their commercial, technological, and religious exchanges, Christian century, which one thing is certain, two things for sure, <laughs> will have changed the course of Japanese history, but also art in Europe. Yeah, because they started repainting your images. And, and particularly in France, 
by sharing a taste of aesthetics and his and harmony. Unknown to the Greeks and Romans, the Japanese archipelago did not appear in the West for the first time until 1298. In Marco Polo's account, under the name Kapangu, about to throw my laptop. <laughs> so, unknown to the Greeks and Romans, They didn't know about Kapangu called Japan. But this ain't the Japan you've been brainwashed to know. First time in 1298. That's almost 100 years after the invasion of Genghis Khan on Prestige. Priest King. And Marco Polo's account under the name Kapangu, Japan, right? Pan, Pangea, got it, got it. Japanku. The Chinese name given to the land of rising sun written with the sinograms. Outside of Asia, the first mention of Japan dates from 886 CE. As derived, oh, wait, wait. They called it Wawak, man. <laughs> so the original name of Japan is Wawak, man. Wawak. Hawa, Hawaii. Wa, Wawa. Wawa. Derived from its ancient name, Wa. <laughs> Hawa. Koku by the Persian geographer called Danbe, the vast middle kingdom previously called his Japanese neighbor land of the Wa. Right? You got frame, you got shaper. So they call it the land of the shaper. The Wa in Paleo Hebrew is what? For the dismount. <laughs> hey, here a little, there a little, man. Aleph or El Bot Gong Da Ha <gasps> Wa is your tent peg. Imagine having a tent with no tent peg. Your tent just flying in the wind. Imagine not being able to have no security and no shelter because you ain't got no foundation. You ain't got no added security. You ain't got no hook. If you don't got no foundation, no security, you ain't got no secure breath. And what's breath without us without security, man? You want breath without security? You want a revelation without a foundation? <laughs> Hawa is the fifth and the sixth letter of Paleo Hebrew. You can't hijack the ha. It's the breath. It's the ah. Wa. What they changed to V A V is Wa. So whether it's the U A Y or phonetically W A W, you know, however we gotta see clearly, man. You need it before you get your food, your nourishment, before Hawa cuts off, cuts off, and starts to divide and build a wall and separate from all hijack frequency. If you don't got your creator by now, <laughs> what your Yah is outside the wall? <laughs> nah, man, you need the Hawa inside the wall. You need the Hawa before you can eat, man. You need the Hawa, the breath, the security, the secure revelation, mama, father.
<laughs> you need to eat the, that ma'am sauce yourself. Let's go. The vast middle kingdom previously called its Japanese neighbor land of the Wa with the ideogram, which could mean dwarf when in fact it meant folded or bent to highlight the place of salvation. So it was security. It was salvation and politeness in Japanese culture. Let's go. Japanese, therefore, preferred the kan, kanji, which had the same reading, but the meaning of peace and harmony, the land of the rising sun. <laughs> the land of the rising sun. So anywhere so-called east, right, so-called east, <laughs> that the sun is coming in this trajectory. If you're on the other side, it would be rising from the, you know, so-called, you know, east or whatever trajectory, depending on your perspective of where you're at. You know, if you're on the west side of Japan and you're in Mexico popping off or all these flows, you know what I'm saying? You know, you might see it as a rising sun. It don't have to be coming out of so-called Africa to be a rising sun to you based on your perspective. So the name land of the rising sun, the home in Japanese would have appeared in a missive from Prince Shotoku Taishi addressing China from the emperor of the rising sun to the emperor of the setting sun. If in the West, Islam has been a driving force in the search for truth, a vector of scientific and technological progress in astronomy, optics, and algebra, in particular valuable discoveries for navigation. And Yosef dropped... You know, these maps, man, and you dropped the link for it. So I'm just sharing my bro, Yosef. He's on fire, man. AI to the Yosef, the real tribe. But yeah, you see Cathay and it says what? China, right? China. Just like here, you got La China. India Superior, Cathay. Florida, Cate, Florida, Mexico, China, Cate, India Superior, Florida, Mexico, China. All this is so called North America, but we ask the question Does North America exist? Mm, good question, huh? Because these early 1500 maps. Seem not to factor it in. It seems to be a cover of boss. So you don't think you in Asia, boss. China, China. We're going to get back on that Owaspi. Because there's a man called China. A deliverer called China. Who's putting the most high over everything. But China's just Mexico. Is China Moses. Because he's contemporaneous, meaning he lived at the same time as Moshe, according to Oaspi, and with Capilia. But we're going to talk Lake Kapala, and all this is Grand Tartari or India Superior, South America, Cathay, oh, right. Does North America exist? Does North America exist? Cathay, India, Superior, Florida, China, Mexico. Come. Here's this 1492 flow or this, the known world from Beheims, B-E-H-A-I-M-S, globe, 
conception of the world before Columbus's voyage. You see Kapangu like it's in the middle of the world. But it's no longer on your maps. But this ain't the Japan that's now way over there. <laughs> Here's Cathay, Kathaja, or Katawa, or Kateo, China, India. Where are we at, my nugget? Cathay, Asia, South America, <laughs> Florida, right? So over and over again, China, South America. Cathayo, which Marco Polo called China, Cathay, Cathayo. Katai, Car Katai, let China. And again with the planet Sphero, De Roselli, Matt 1508. You got India Superior, so-called South America, or as the Moors say, South West of Maxim and Northwest of Maxim. Tartaria, where is North America? <laughs> no matter how far we go back, man, we, we just don't have no North America. We got Asia, though. So, Cathay, India, again. In his Book of Wonders, the Venetian merchant Marco Polo, after 24 years of traveling around the world, describes Japan by hearsay. From contacts with Arab merchants who themselves traded with China, his story feeds the myth of a new El Dorado, which is a city of gold, which will echo two centuries later to Christopher Colombo, Christ of Ophir. Where's Ofer? In search of the famous treasures of Kapango through the West, finally leading him to discover the new world. So finally he discovers us in America. If the Spanish crown appropriated a good part of the lands of the new continent, it was Portugal with Visca, Vasco de Gama, which in 1498 established the first maritime link between Lisbon and the coast of India by reaching the prosperous port of Calicut and opening the way to Portuguese traders and missionaries to these distant Asian lands. Hitherto almost unknown. Where's Asia? On Martin Behem's globe, it is written in German, the island of Zepangu, so with a C or Z, it is the east of the world. So now they're telling you, you in the east, its inhabitants worship idols. Well, I would say that's false, but this is the biblical world. <laughs> we got Moab over here. <laughs> the king is subject to no one. Uh-oh, now we're on the press to flow. In the island, there is an overabundance, an overabundance. California gold rush, cities of gold, gold like precious stones and pearls. This was written by Marco Polo, Venetian, in his third book on the island from north to south. We find these indications. Nutmeg Forest, Pepper Forest, Kapango Island has its own king and language and idols are worshipped there. Says who? Well, you know. Kapango, where lots of gold is produced. Kapango is the noblest, the noblest island. So this Kapango in America is connected with the nobles. And yes, you're an oriental. If you're an American, you're an oriental. Rich in spices like Sheba Managa. Precious stones like the Shintamani stone. And its circumference is 1,200 miles. It's a lot of drop as if it were not enough. Another annotation at the bottom of the island recalls that in this island are produced golden spices and abundance. So this is the map that they would give us of the Mongol flow through Russia, the Khanate, right? The great Khan, the Khanate, 
And all this is is a reflection of India Superior so that you're learning all this is over there when it's all over here, especially if we got the Ganges, man. <laughs> hey, this recon the Ganges is going to connect you to a river of paradise. Kanka. Lego. This mouth season. Last part I'll get is this, and you got the rest of the link, and we're going to revisit it. Hey, have yourself. In the 13th century, Genghis Khan, here we go, succeeded in founding a powerful and vast empire by rallying the various Mongol tribes. His descendants made the, the Mongol Empire prosper by conquering China, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Anatolia, part of the Eastern Europe, the Mongol hordes plunder and massacre Central Europe, which is what? Russia, right? So they... They rode upon the roofs, they rode upon the Jan, they rode upon the Can, <laughs> they rode upon the uh Shishia, the Shia dynasty, the Almec flow, just like it says in the cities of Gold Cartoon, the Almecs got rode upon, like Genghis rode upon the roofs, the Kar Katai, Press the John, pretty much the entire tribe of Israel got rode upon by Genghis Khan. The Mongol hordes plunder and massacre Central Europe. The empire is, is divided into four khanates or regions. China of the Wan or the Jan dynasty created by Kublai Khan because Wan means king. So these are titles. Grandson of Genghis Khan and Grand Khan, Mongol emperor, succeeded his brother 1260. So after Genghis Khan rode up on Presta John in 1202, it was a free-for-all. They just started passing the title amongst Genghis's family, amongst Kublai's family, his grandsons in there. Now we're in 1260. The Dejah Hatai in the center, the Khans in the southwest, Iran, Iraq, and Syria in the Middle East, and the Golden Horde in the northwest, Russia, and Eastern Europe. The people of the Steves became sedentary, man. They rode up on the roofs, man. Kindred to the kings and queens of Jerusalem. The Mongols were absorbed by the Chinese and Persian civilizations. Mongol traditions are preserved by the Golden Horde at the center of the empire. Oh, we're going to pick it up, though, because I definitely want to do a whole drop on this Silk Road, man. What a great find and what a great drop by the bro, Yosef the Real, who was on fire. He's dropping map drop. He's dropping, you know what I'm saying, press the drop. <laughs> All that indigenous truth coming out. And just remember the discovery of Japan is the same as the discovery of America, man. Kapangu. We're just talking about the Khans, man. We're just talking about the Khan dynasty. Alawa. Yeah, they found Kapangu, which some call Japan. The Great Island. Kensei, Cathay. All to the west of Florida. Or we're just talking... East of Florida. <laughs> I think we see clearly, my night. I think we see clearly. The water to my nagas, man, for your steady contribution, man, your steady flow, your steady glow, allowing us to pop off in real time, man. And see clearly, man, and put our dragon flit eye perspective back together. Feels so good to pop off, man. Shout out to my big bro, Ju Judah, the great Jedi, man. You know, it's my big bro, Michael Andrews, the second, man. <laughs> Named after my father, man. And from the very beginning, man, he taught a Naga discipline, man. You know what I mean? He's out there in Las Vegas training, man, doing his thing and teaching and, you know, just popping off in real time, man. I can't be more proud of my bro. In real time, so 
Just know if you tune in there, you tuning in with the best of them. You tuning in with the realest, realest ones, man. Yeah. Here we go. And it feels so good, man. <laughs> hey, hello, wa to the cons. And just, you know, keep supporting Joy World and allowing Nagas to build for you, build for Nagaville. Get the drop, you know, schedule out the drop chat in the fifth wave and, you know, allow us to just uh, do what we really came here to do at the right time, in the right vibe. And we're building the right tribe. We're taking our time, man. There's no um, easy way to do anything, but it's been a number of years, and you see it's building real time. So click the links below for my real ones that support us, you know, and other than that, just be a witness, you know what I'm saying, and let us uh, <laughs> let us become. Let us keep the water flowing. All praise a while, let us keep the fire Burn Hey, tune in, tune in. We're coming in hot. Fifth wave is just getting started. Eat the squad up. Be a dragon on the wall. Support the dragon sponsors. Become a copper dragon, silver dragon, gold sponsor. And tune in, tune in. Download the app for free. In your local uh, app store, man. 432 to drop radio. For Nagaville. For Joy World. Allah, a wow.